How's it going fellow foxes? My name is Soledo and welcome back to another Cats or Crash Arena Turbo Stars video. This video was specifically made to showcase how good uh, the new body type the whale actually is. So as you can see I'm currently rocking the whale. I've been using him quite a lot since I lost Prestige. Uh, so let's take a look at how it's actually built. So I got kind of lucky. I got a legendary body, a legendary whale with a 100% bonus to double rock. Now, it's a little bit unfortunate, but my uh, double rocket is kind of crappy. Got only one of them, and as you can see, it only has 27 attack value, so that's not a whole lot. And with the rocket I'm currently using, has like 132 attack value, so that's obviously a much better deal. So that's the reason why I'm using a rocket and not a double rocket, even though I have some synergy with that uh, due to my well having 100% attack bonus to double rocket. But then I'm also using a uh, a forklift here, which gives 20% bonus to rocket, that's pretty decent, so that's the reason why I'm using that one. I have a wheel which has a little bit of synergy with the wheel, 20% extra health, it's always nice. And this other wheel doesn't really do much. So that's the build which I'm currently using. Uh, this wheel has 15 power, but I'm only using 8 power of that. So as you can see, uh, if this wheel would have an extra attachment slot for a weapon, this wheel would have been a lot better. Sadly enough, I don't have access to such a wheel, but I hope in the future I will, and then we can build a really powerful car. But that's what I'm stuck with as of right now. It has 480 health and 132 attack value. So let's head over to the championship here and show you guys how good I'm doing against all these other people. As you can see, I'm currently in first position with nine, nine hours to go, but I would love to do an instant promotion. So that's what we are going to try to do in this episode. But first, let's watch the fights and see how things go. So basically the first battle you'll see is really the one which we need to beat is this cat smasher, this cat smasher. And so it's not going to be easy beating him. He deals a lot of damage, but I think we might have a chance. So I had some issues against like a lot of these other cars, uh, but I upgraded my car quite a lot. And now it's definitely able to handle all of these other cars, except for the cat smasher, obviously. But with, with, a nest, with a little bit more of upgrading here and there, we should be able to make it. So as you can see, we're doing pretty good. The forklift is pulling its weight. Uh, by sometime lifting people or preventing us from getting flipped over. So that's pretty good. And like the rocket just deals a lot of damage. It's a very good weapon. I, I really love the rocket. I, I more so love the, the double rocket, but sadly enough, it's really, it's not an option uh, at this moment uh, because this current ro rocket is just way too good to pass up on. So yeah, that's the reason why we're using this one. So two more fights to go here. This guy deals a lot of damage with his laser, but we're, we are able to take him out. We just had enough health. And this is the last battle, which we also win. So those were 13 wins. That's quite good. But So there's one more guy which we need to beat is this Cat Smasher. So let's take one more look at him to see how we can actually beat him here. Uh, so he has 314 attack value. That's quite insane. And he also ha he only has 308 health. So with two, we kind of have to beat him in two rocket shots. So I think that requires like 150 attack value or like 154 or something. So yeah, he deals a lot of damage uh, with his build. And sadly enough, we don't have time enough or our forklift isn't strong enough to actually lift them over because that would obviously be an easy victory. But sadly enough, that's not the case. So let's take a look at my build here. Um, so yeah, I have no available toolboxes at the moment. Actually, I also got this really cool sticker when we prestiged and I'm gonna put this one on. I think it's a really cool one. There we go. It's a really big one too. But anyway, that's besides the point. So as you can see, I've put already quite some toolboxes here on my rocket and on my uh, whale. But I think it's time we upgrade them both uh, to see how we can actually improve upon it. So, um, Let's first try and see if we uh, can perhaps level up the rocket first here. Um, what are we not going to use? Like uh, these classic cars, like the one I have over here, this one is pretty good, right? Uh, this classic car, and there's no really any reason to keep the other guys, so we'll probably merge those into my rocket here and see how much they actually add. It's not a whole lot though, but we're gonna do it anyways. There we go. Every little bit helps, right? 
There we go. Okay, so what more do we have? We have a, a couple of crappy servers here too, so let's merge those also, I suggest. Let's do that. Now, this costs a lot of money though, but there we go. That's eight additional attack value. That's quite good. So we don't really have much gold left, so therefore I suggest we spend some cat paws. Uh, because since I lost uh, prestige, I actually got quite a lot of cat paws here. As you can see, I still have nine left. Like in one of my previous videos, I definitely recommended you getting these general upgrades, uh, which are not specific to the body part. Well, that is a pretty good idea, and I probably should buy some more of those. I also think it's a quite good strategy uh, to spend cat paws whenever you're stuck in a tournament and just need a little bit extra uh, to progress. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy this uh, bonus here for our rockets to make our, our rockets a tiny bit uh, better, basically enabling us uh, to beat that last guy. So it's gonna cost two cat paws. I probably won't be buying the third upgrade for this one because that gets a little bit too expensive with with costing three cat paws to bring this skill to level three. But level two should definitely be doable, so there we go. So as you can see, I've bought like a couple of upgrades like here, and one extra powerful boulder and so like here also an extra damage for double rocket. So I kinda went away from the strategy from only buying these gold upgrades. I feel, still think they're good, so I'll probably like definitely get this one to level two here. Actually, let's do that right now. There we go. Um, but yeah, again, to level 3 is pretty expensive, uh, and I think it's also quite a good strategy uh, to sometimes level up your weapon when you're like stuck and you're in a rut and you can't progress. So that's a pretty good strategy. So let's go back here. Um, and, and watch the championship, see if we actually have enough power to defeat the Cat Smasher, right? So how much do we have? 148. It's probably not gonna be enough. No, we just need a teeny tiny bit more. Uh, so let's continue the upgrading process here, sell some stuff and see if we can actually get there. I think we need a 6 additional uh, attack value and that's probably only one additional level on our rocket. So let's do that, right? Let's take a look if you have any weapons which you won't be using. Um, yeah, these rockets are kind of useless, so let's... Uh, and it also almost nothing though. Do we really want to do that? I don't know. Let's sell some stuff too. Damn, it almost gives me nothing. Hmm. Perhaps we should consider like selling this chainsaw. It's pretty good though, so I don't know if I want to sell it. I just don't have a lot, a lot of um, metal parts yet. But we're gonna do it anyway. Let's do this, right? So let's merge this chainsaw here. Damn, that's a that's cost so much and almost does nothing. Okay, so one more. We're gonna, definitely gonna have to sell some stuff here, guys. Uh, let's sell this one. I don't know. I definitely want to keep my legendaries, though, so I won't be selling those. Let's sell uh, these guys here. And let's put on some of these five stars here. Hopefully, they can help out a bit. Damn, it's so expensive upgrading this. Damn, that is almost nothing. How are we gonna do this, guys? Let's sell this one too here. Should probably sell this one too as well. I don't know, I know. I don't wanna get rid of that as of yet. Let's see, do we have any crappy wheels perhaps which you can uh, merge? It doesn't look like it. Damn, what are we gonna merge? Like, I have one wheel like the scooter here, so let's merge that one. We're not quite there yet. What more can we merge? Like this 5 star wheel. Maybe we don't even have enough gold for that. So first we're gonna have to do some selling here. Damn, I hope we're not we're not gonna be broke here. Let's all, sell all of these wheels here. Now let's merge some stuff. There we go, that's quite expensive. Uh, let's uh, sell this one here. Will this give us enough gold to merge another one? Yes, it will. So, let's merge this Bigfoot here. That's actually gonna take us there. So now, we got an attack value of 156. So that should be enough, according to my calculations. Uh, we needed 154. 
And we got two additional ones, so just to be sure. So let's fight this one, and this should probably be an instant promotion if everything goes all right. There we go. We were able to beat the Cat Smasher, and the other one should be pretty easy if we've beaten them previously. So as you can see, I had to do quite some investments there to actually progress, uh, but I think it was worth it. Um, like a ton of stuff you won't ever be using, so don't be afraid to sell it. I know it, it's hard because you think, that, like, I might use that in the future, but really, most often, you don't do that, right? You mostly stick with one build, and that's what I would recommend. Kind of, try to kind of stick with a build and only keep the very best, and other stuff, just merge that, because, like, when, once you've progressed, like, over four stages, the stuff you got back then, like when you were still four stages ago, it's kind of crap now. So just don't wait too long with your stuff and just sell it or fuse it. You're gonna get the most value out of it that way. So here we go, a couple of fights to go and then we'll be instantly promoted here. So two more fights to go. This should be an easy victory. There we go. And this is the last one. Kaboom, we were able to beat him in three shots. There we go, you won 14 fights, you've been instantly promoted to the next stage. There we go. So here we are. Oh, and we even got a legendary box here, guys, to open up. That's pretty exciting, right? So let's see what the legendary box has in store for us. So we're, now we get access to even better parts. There we go, three-star military parts. Let's choose a rainbow, I like that one a lot. And it's time to open up another legendary box. I love doing these together with you guys. So pretty exciting to see what we will get out of this legendary box. So let's open it up. So first and foremost, you get a Titan, a one star military Titan with 20% boost to rocket. Now the crappy thing is it only has 10 power. That's not a whole lot. So might be worth it to investigate this one a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to be the best. Let's see what more we have. A blade, 35% went on surfer. This is actually really good. Only consumes four power, so that's pretty great. We might have to test this one out. I think this one is pretty decent. Like a 35% bonus is quite a lot already, so I like that. So a boulder, 20% health to Bigfoot, two star. Like this boulder would have been awesome if it still had like one attachment point uh, like on top for a gadget so we could put a boost on it and create a bouncy boulder. But it might be pretty good already, like we also have like that blade which only costs 4 power and then we just put on another random blade of 7 power and have a pretty decent vehicle, so I think that might work. The bonus 20% to Bigfoot is pretty crappy though, so I don't know if it will work. Let's see. Oh, a legendary, plus 100% attack value went on Sneaky, that's pretty insane. We should probably consider making a Sneaky with a drill. Uh, that, that vehicle would be pretty powerful. And an attack toolbox with 38 additional attack. I like that. We can definitely use that. So there they are. There, those are all the all the stuff we got. So let's collect the prizes. They float to the top. There we go. And now we're in a new championship. So let's see how good we would actually perform in this new championship here. I'm pretty excited uh, to see how things will go. Damn, that laser dealt dealt a lot of damage. That guy was a very very strong. So they should probably be... No, damn. His blade deals a lot of damage. These guys are actually pretty strong. I hope we will be able to like promote tonight because we're in the top six. So I hope that will happen. But I can't guarantee it because these guys are pretty strong. So yeah, not looking the best. We only have won one single fight here. They're quite a lot better than us. But we got some cool stuff. So perhaps we can make some cool stuff with it. You know. Okay. Can we win this one here? Probably not. Oh yeah, we actually do. That's the second win. Okay. That's such a strange build by that guy. Come on. Ah, we needed one more shot. This guy already has a lot of health, almost a thousand health already. We can beat this one. Yes, there we go. It hurt victory. So we won three fights. That not the best and probably will not be enough to promote tonight. But we will definitely keep on doing our best and see if we can uh, w win any additional fights here. So let's go back and s like... First I want to show you guys like my map. 
uh, to see where I've come from. From. I've been using like the whale quite a lot, so it has uh, be been quite effective for me personally in like getting these instant promotions. And basically, this video was just showcasing like that the whale is actually a really cool car. It's a very stable car, but sometimes it can be vulnerable, uh, vulnerable against like bouncy boulders who jump over you and like attack you from the back. So therefore, I would recommend uh, getting either a blade or a double rocket. And sometimes it's also not so good like with the forklift, like sometimes it just doesn't lift the opponent and that's kind of strange. Like my uh, surfer body, which I used previously, like before A Prestige, was definitely a lot better body uh, for lifting up opponents basically. Uh, but yeah, those were, those were uh, the usages. I really recommend picking up um, the whale body type if you have Prestige. It's a very good body type, I definitely recommend it. Uh, so yeah, I'm still going to be uh, grinding here off screen to get promoted once again. And we're already doing pretty good, right? We're like, if we, I can promote once again, we'll be in eight stage, in stage eight, and then it will get pretty close. And once we get till stage 10, we will have unlocked a new body type, the diamond. And I'm definitely also going to test that one out for you guys. I think the diamond won't be that strong. Uh, I think that the whale is definitely one of the better body types, and I think the diamond is like one of the worst body types. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to test it out for you guys, report on it, and see if it's worth it or not. So we still have a lot of grinding to do because there are so many stages uh, which we have to uh, get promoted to once again, but we'll do our best and see where we get. So yeah, thanks for watching fellow foxes. If you'd like this video, definitely drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more cats videos every single day. Thanks for watching fellow foxes. Stay awesome and see you next time.